Hey everyone, Tyson1996-14 here with the game 3 against Zane in the deck he never uses in story mode for this game. And I'm using my light deck still because we had to keep all the settings the same, of course. Like I said, I always pick rock in this game, even if they want to pick rock. The most I've ever seen them do this is three times. You know, I want to do it twice today. Go first. Darn. Oh yeah, even though I like to go second regardless, you definitely want to go second against Zane because if you go first and there, then he OTKs you so often. Yes, I have final countdown in here because I have an 80 card deck and sometimes these duels take way too long. So, helps to speed things up sometimes. And trust me, it does come in handy. So just disciple of the forbidden spell and Sekiretsu armor for me, and we'll see what he decided to do. Pick Cyber and Dragon. I'm surprised he didn't do Chimera Tech Over Dragon for this deck. But we do another one, even though he can't do it now because he put all three Cyber Dragons. In this. See, he's just really stupid sometimes. But hey, he wants to waste his spell and trap card zones. And not get powerful cards out that he needs is so be it. Now I'm debating on whether or not to play Genzo here because his Cyber End Dragon is going to come out. And normally I would, but since I know Cyber End Dragon's coming and Genzo obviously can't deal with that, I'm just going to go and attack. And now we have a Cyber Dragon to deal with. I'm going, I have, um, in case, oh yeah, I apologize in advance the quality of this is bad, I have to keep apologizing because I know about 90% of my videos will be bad due to YouTube distorting the color, so I know this will occur, and, uh, that's why I have to keep apologizing for that, and he is so stupid, now he doesn't get Cyber End Dragon or anything. I could use Rising Energy and kill the spell, but what sense does that make? And I have Sucker Red 2 Armor face down as well. And now he's wasted a whole bunch of cards, and he takes the 600 points of damage, and he get another counter for our um, final countdown. And since the field is clear, now Genza will come on the field. Stopping whatever face down trap that is, because his traps are annoying. And with that, we've got him on the ropes, actually, for now. Let's see what he draws. Nothing he feels like playing, which is fine by me. Keep drawing these Sphinx cards, but I never draw the Pyramid of Light. It's hilarious. And I play one copy of all of them. One day, I'll make the play of them. I've yet to do it, though. That was a good movie. You want to play the cards. And I have all these in real life too as well. <sighs> yeah, I play you get a little bit too much if you ask me, but so I play on this. And then I have two other Yu-Gi-Oh! video games. I have the Yu-Gi-Oh! cards in real life. At least over a thousand of them, so. I know that's not a lot. If you're a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan, you know that's not too much, but to some people that's quite a bit. And, of course, I plan the dueling network. If you guys know what that is, that's a website where you can duel online for free with all the cards at your disposal. Pretty cool, huh? If you guys have any questions about that, you can let me know. But I'm pretty sure most people know about that. And now they have Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro as well, but... I don't go on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro because I'm staying loyal to the dueling network. And that was just Cyberstein I crushed. And he had 7,200 life points, so I don't know why he didn't play Cyber End Dragon. Because with that, he would have been able to destroy Genzo. Although, I could just destroy a Cyber Steam the next turn, but I mean, what's he gonna do now? Because I still have Genzo on the field, I just have White Magician Fikaru. And he just played Cyber Phoenix, so. I don't know. If you, if you try and ponder why the computer does some stuff in this game, then 
You'll just find a whole day wasted because there's no explanation for it. And I'm not sacrificing White Magician Peeperoo for Cyber Prima because I can't even use Cyber Prima's effect. And my cousin's a personal. My cousin personally likes White Magician Peeperoo. Which I don't blame, it's a quick way to get a lot of life money. And oh my god. Are you kidding me? Don't have limit removal. Oh gosh. Yes, no limit removal. This is still pretty bad though. <laughs> Ow! Dang. Ooh, let me draw a monster. Please, let me draw a monster. This will be funny if I can. Darn it. Because I have creature swap, so I could have been like, oh, well, I'll just attack you right back. But. That didn't happen, so we're gonna have to do Dark Hole now. I'm still in the lead though by exactly half, actually. <laughs> I love when that happens. And if he doesn't win in five turns, final countdown will come through. It's a good card to just throw. Oh my god! Ugh. Yeah. I'm getting scared now because I don't have any protection. He just OTKs you so fast. So fast. But I have Manju now. And with that I can add Reshift for Reshift. And it looks like he's going to destroy the Manju but I still get my effect. Because priority exists in this game. Although I think you would have been able to do that either way. Oh, I don't know. Um... Oh yeah, I like how um, normally if you it's eight or more stars for this for Reshift, but in real life you could discard Cyber Prima and then the Sphinx and just have eighteen six well, sixteen stars to the tribute. But in this game they're like no no. If you have it, if you have one monster that pays the cost. Well wait, if you have two monsters, one of them pays the cost and one of them doesn't, you can't discard them both. In real life, I would have if I needed to for a monster reborn or something. And ooh, I can take control of that. Can I switch the position of it though? That's what I want to know. Because if it has, I'm gonna actually take control of it. Yeah. Because if it has over 1100 attack, then I win. Does it? It does. Exactly. Ooh, this is great. First I was winning by exactly half, now I'm going to win by exactly 3600 points of damage, and isn't that great? And that is how you come back from behind and beat the OTK master of this game, Zane Truzo. Actually, he FTKs you sometimes as well. So that was game three. No, I don't want to do it the same thing. So that was game three. If you have a comment, question, or recommendation on what I should do next, please let me know. And thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope you have a great day.